thank you for viewing this video today for a quick update on Kenyon City Schools Nutrition Services Program and how we're going to provide meal service for your children on Monday, August 17th and moving forward um, as we open our doors for a new school year. I'm Paula Boozer. I'm the Director of, of Support Services for Kenyon City Schools and in my almost 20 years with the school district, um, I faced a lot of challenges um, within, within the work that I do, but none match the challenges that we've all faced in the midst of this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, there's not a person, a community, an organization, or a nation that has gone, gone untouched, and Kenya City is no different. Um, so for that reason, we're going to be making a few changes this year, but I do want you to know that our commitment to feed your children the most nutritious meals possible in the safest environment possible continues to be of the utmost importance to us. That commitment has not changed. It may look a little different, but it has not changed. Um, so with that being said, um, if you have questions um, once this video is over, um, please feel free to reach out to me via email at covid19info at canyoncityschools.org. And that should be scrolling across the bottom of your screen right now. So that's COVID19info at canyoncityschools.org. Um, with that, I'd like to move just a little bit directly into some logistics about um, the program, um, how, how to pay for meals, how to apply for free and reduced meals and those types of things. So um, regarding free and reduced meal benefits, if your family qualified for those benefits last year, those will carry over through September 30th of this school year. So there's no need to submit an application right now. That's one burden you can take off your plate. Your children will be taken care of, they will be fed. Um, but do please fill out a new application prior to basically October 1st. Um, the other piece is some of you may have already received a letter that says you're pre-qualified for benefits for this school year. If you received that letter, there is no reason for you to fill out an application. Um, we do have a system that does automatically pre-qualify some families um, before the beginning of the school year. So no need to apply. Um, however, if you did receive a letter and there's a child living in your home whose name was not listed on that letter, please do contact me again um, so we can get them added to your benefits. And the last piece about free and reduced is um, there may be many of you out there who have never applied for free and reduced meals. Um, never qualify for free and do reduced meals, but because of the pandemic, maybe your situation has changed. Maybe a wage earner has lost income in your family. Um, if that's the case, or maybe some extra family members have moved in with you. If that's the case, please apply and let us see if you qualify and, and get you the benefits that you deserve. And even if it's a temporary situation and you apply and you qualify, those benefits will be good for the entire school year. Um, so that's a great way to help you get back on your feet, help your loved ones get back on your feet. So please take advantage of that um, if you feel you might benefit from it. Um, and lastly on free and reduced is we do have a couple of different ways to apply. Um, we have our paper application system as we've all, always had. Those, those applications are available at all the schools as well as our administration building. Um, but we also have a new electronic system where you can um, electronically complete and submit an app and imme immediately find out if you receive benefits or not. Um, to do that, go to our website, www.ccsnutrition.org, click on the meal application app, or link, I'm sorry, and um, that'll take you right to the electronic system and walk you through the process. Um, also with that system, um, we have a new online payment system, a, a way that you can pay for your child's meals. We used to have pay for it. Um, we've now moved to Pay Schools Central. And that system is on the same link as the free and reduced meal application. So again, you can go to our website, um, you can go to Pay School Central, online payments, click on that, um, either create account, you create a new account, or you can um, use your information from Pay For It if you had one of those accounts previously. Um, that information will still be valid. You'll just have to log in and set up some new features. Um, but no worries. If you had any money on any, any of your children's accounts, all that transferred over. Um, so we, we really encourage folks to take care of those two things prior to the opening of the school year. It'll really help us serve your children in a much more efficient and safe manner. 
Um, it, it, they both promote contactless service, which is something we're going to really um, be serious about this year. And thirdly is the, um, of course, on paying, just so I don't forget, you, you still can absolutely send money to school with your, with your child. Um, we prefer a check as opposed to cash. If you want to bring cash in yourself, we ask you to check in at the front office and we'll make sure we get that on your child's account. Um, and lastly, regarding some of the logistics of the program are our actual menus. Um, they're going to be a little more limited this year, at least at the beginning of the year. And, and that's just so we can make sure we meet all the safety protocol and, and the contactless type of um, things that we need to do to serve your children. Um, so you'll see the menus don't have quite as many selections on them, but I'll tell you that what we've done is we've tried to really pull out what we feel are the, are the kids' favorite meals and provide those. So you'll still have um, the entree, fresh fruit, fresh vegetables, milk, um, and some, a cookie here and there. So um, bear with us, be patient. We hope to be able to continue to expand our menus because one thing we've always been proud of is is the, is the wide array of fresh fruit, vegetables, and entrees we can offer our kids K through 12. Um, we promise one day they'll get back here as soon as we can. Um, the other piece on menus is we won't be printing them at least at the beginning of the year. Um, they're available electronically. Again, go to our website at www.ccsnutrition.org and um, click on our menu button and you can go on there and view them for your school. Um, you can print them but you can also click on a link on that same page that says Go Green. And if you do that, you can sign up to have your child's menu emailed to you um, at the first of every month. So um, again, encourage you to do that because we won't be printing menus and sending them home um, and anytime in the near future. So appreciate you looking at all those systems and, and taking advantage of those as they um, seem fit for your family. So with that, I just want to move on quickly and just kind of do a quick overview of what the service is actually, actually going to look like for your child in the first day of school when they show up. So when we get to um, the K-8 breakfast, what's going to happen is there are going to be some breakfast stations set up um, at certain entrances in the buildings. And so when your child's dropped off, they'll be directed to go pick up a grab-and-go breakfast if they choose to. And they will take that breakfast and then they will go to their designated area, classroom, um, entrance as directed by school staff. Once they get into the classroom, they'll have an opportunity to eat that breakfast. Um, and so we encourage everybody to take advantage of that. Um, one thing to note is I know all of our meals were free to everybody this summer under the age of 19. Um, that is not the case during the school year. Um, again, if you qualify for free reduced meals, breakfast and lunch are free for all of your children. If you don't, breakfast is um, just $1.25 at the, at the K-8 uh, level, and it's $2 at the high school level. Um, so just want to make sure everybody's aware of that change from summer to the school year. And additionally, um, Harrison and Washington only do offer free breakfast to all of their students every day. And that's just a special USDA program that, that those schools qualify for based on their population. And so Harrison and Washington, your schools do get free breakfast every single day for all children. All other ones are based on your um, free, reduced, or paid status. Um, as far as lunch goes for the K-8s, it's going to look similar to last year with the exception of all the kids aren't going to the cafeteria at one time. You've probably heard a lot, lot about cohorts. So each cohort will travel to the cafeteria and they will see, receive a pretty simple meal. It will be an entree, fresh fruit, vegetable, um, milk, like I said, maybe a dessert here and there. And then they will go through our point of sale system. And this year we're implementing badges for all of the students. So I'm sure you high school parents are, have seen these, maybe some of you middle school parents. Um, the, the 6th through 12th grade students are expected to wear these every day, wear them to school, from school, and, and keep them on. Um, K-5 students, this is the first year for them, so it's very possible that they'll wear them during the school day, or maybe they'll only wear them to, to lunch. Um, but we'll slowly be implementing these for the K-5 students also. And what will happen when they go through our POS system or our point of sale system, they will, um, this little barcode here, they'll put it under a scanner and it'll log them into our system and account for their meal. So again, a great way for us to provide contactless meals um, and service to your children. And that'll be K-12, okay? Um, lastly, just the high school, touch on that quickly. Um, again, it will look similar to last year. Um, what will happen is the doors open at 7.30. Um, the students will come in, get their temperature and symptom checks. If they want to go, if they want breakfast, they'll go to the cafeteria, pick up their breakfast in a brown bag or on a tray. They'll go through a point of sale system with their badge, 
and then they will go to their classroom and have time to eat their breakfast. Um, lunch will look similar too. Um, it will be open campus this year um, as it has been in the past. Um, however, we hope that most children choose to um, stay and eat with us. Um, we really appreciate when folks support our program. But at the lunch bell, um, they'll either um, leave campus or they'll come to our cafeteria um, in a very orderly fashion, socially distanced. They'll grab their lunch. Again, we'll have a couple choices, not as many choices as, as we've had in the past. Um, they'll go through a point of sale system with their badge, and then they'll go on to eat their lunch at a designated area, their classroom outdoors, or possibly some limited seating in the cafeteria. So um, again, that'll look very, very similar to last year. Um, the cost for lunch at the elementary level is 250, and at the high school level is 275. Um, and lastly, on that note, is the um, online students. If you've chosen to go online um, as a as an option, then you still have um, access to our meals during the day. So I, I encourage you to contact your school for the process on how you can access those meals and how you can come pick those up. Um, but we certainly want to serve you, cho you, you uh, students also. And as well as at the high school, you know, some students will only be going Monday, Wednesday, some will be going Tuesday, Thursday. If it's your off day, you're welcome to come to school and pick up that, um, pick up that meal. Um, just check in with security and they'll give you the details of how to do that. Um, so in closing, I really just want to say a big, a big thank you to all of you who've supported our program over the years. Um, you know, I've been here a long time and, and I've seen a lot of families go through our system and I really appreciate it. And, and I want to say welcome to those of you who maybe are new to the district or haven't tried our program. Um, I, I'd love to have you come and, and let your students, um, you know, enjoy our, enjoy our meals, give them a try. And um, our staff works hard year round. This summer we actually fed, uh, since March, almost 100,000 meals to our community. And so our summer staff works hard as well as our um, staff during the school year. And, and so I hope you'll come and, um, and check us out. And, and we're all looking forward to a great year and, and be safe out there. Thank you. Thank you.